So you have this fantastic idea and you want to bring it to life online. The first thing you need is a domain. In our opinion, the best place to buy a domain is Google Domains. In this video, I'm going to help you get a Google domain, walk you through the process and show you how easy it is to go from an idea to purchasing a domain to getting it started. I searched Google domains and head over to domains.google.com. The first thing I want to do is of course, put in my domain name that I want. Um, for us, because we're looking to do something with outreach and we probably want to help people do outreach. Um, especially for all our outreach bin users, we're looking to create a course. So in that case, we'll probably look for something like outreach course, right? And I am going to remove the space here just to make sure outreachcourse.com is actually available. So outreach class is available, outreachcourse.com. All right, so all I have to do is click add to cart and that's it. It's added to my cart. I can click go to cart. Um, I want to make sure privacy is on. My registration cost is $12. Um, I do want to renew this every year, so I'm keeping auto renew on. And then it asks me if I want an email. So at Outreach Bin, we actually highly recommend using Google G Suite. Um, which is exactly this now called Google Workspace as the best way to send out cold outreach. Uh, there are limitations, of course, but um, if you stay within certain parameters and uh, within your limits per day, um, Google Workspaces can be by far the best uh, choice for SMTPs when it comes to deliverability, ease of use of getting started, as you'll see right here. So for this, I actually don't want the standard because it defaults to the standard. Make sure that you click starter if you are choosing this option. Um, for this video, I am going to choose this option. Uh, and so I'm going to walk you through both um, purchasing the domain as well as the workspace as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this in and I'll come right back. So what I've done is I've filled in the information, first name, last name, um, team at outreachcourse.com. And then I have team at outreachbin.com as my backup email. And so I checkmarked, allow this account to manage domain. So I do want this account to be connected to the domain that I'm currently purchasing, which is right here, right? So I do want those both to be connected so I can log into team at outreachcourse.com to manage the outreachcourse.com. It just makes sense, right? So I'm going to hit checkout. Now I do need a Google account to go through this process. So I'm going to go through and log into my Google account and come right back. All right, so we've logged into our Google account. As you can see, it's asking for a two-factor um, confirmation. Uh, we're going to go through this process. If you have this security setting um, enabled, um, usually Google does this. All you have to do is click tap on your phone, and you're ready to go. Now, it's going to ask me to fill out some information and then review my purchase. So again, I'm gonna go through, fill this out, and we can go through the next step. So what I've done previously is I've add the, added the account information, and in this step, it's asking me to go ahead and add my billing information. So if you have a payment profile already connected to your Google account, you can easily choose that and go through the billing process. But in this case, I don't have anything connected, so I'm going to go ahead and connect our account, um, our card information, and then go to the review purchase process. So now that I, my account information has actually been added, I'm just going to go ahead and review this purchase again before I click buy. If you have a promo code, um, you can easily add this. Um, I'll try to add one into the video description if you need a promo code. Um, but let's look at this. So we have outreachcourse.com. It's $12 a year. We have workspace starter, um, which is exactly what we want, which is one email address. Um, and it's monthly $6. So I guess the first month is absolutely free. So that's another at, at a very nice added benefit uh, of just buying the domain and the G Suite together. Um, and so as you see, my total is $12. I'm going to go ahead and hit purchase. All right. So it looks like it's registering outreachcourse.com. 
And this process might take a few minutes, could take a few seconds as you see right here. And there you go. So all I have to do now is set up my workspace. All right, so get a custom email with your workspace. Let's go ahead and manage our workspace. So it's setting up our workspace for us. This is really great that it's kind of automatically doing the connection, making sure that everything that we need is between the G Suite or Google Workspace and the domain is added or is connected automatically. So this may take a few minutes. Now, um, this automatically connected, your domain will stop serving because it has not been verified. So I guess I have to check my email address um, and verify my email. So it, it actually sent an email to our backup email to verify um, that email. But in this case, I am going to see if I let me manage my subscription to see how many users I already have. So it's added zero users currently. That means the user we created when we created this account isn't actually being built, which is pretty interesting. So now I can go ahead and click my name. So add Abdul, Kadi, and choose a username, which is Abdul, permission type user, right? Oh, I'll make my admin, add. So this would be asking for our personal emails. So let's see, team at outreachbin.com. Oh, actually I can skip, skip this. It's right. And um, so there you go. Those are the two emails added. This one's also an admin. This is a user. Now that's, that's actually it for the setup process. Um, now, if I go back to manage my subscription, I see two users. So in fact, it did add one. Um, that's very tricky. That's something to really note. If you just want one user, then you might not want to add the second one like I did. In this case, I'm going to actually remove Abdullah Outreach Bin, uh, Outreach of course, and click delete because I only want one person um, as my user in this account. So let's go ahead and look at Managed Subscription again. There you go. So now we're only paying $6. We have a G Suite connected. We purchased the domain. All we need to do is go ahead and verify uh, the email address. So I went ahead and I clicked the verification link that came to the email, verified the email address, and I've come into registration settings to take a look at the account. Privacy is on, domain permissions, um, you know, who has full permissions, auto renew is on, domain lock is on, um, and these are the basic settings. Now let's, if I go over to the DNS, I can take a look at the DNS to see what's going on. Now because it's using Google servers, um, Google's managing everything for us at this end especially with our mail, everything's automatically connected. We don't really have to do anything um, to get the setup going. Um, that's why using Google domains, if you're gonna use Google G Suite, is a fantastic option. Let's head over back to our email. Um, everything looks you know, like it's connected. I can easily just go in and log into my account, which I'm gonna do right now. To, look, to get the login credentials, um, it was absolutely easy. I just clicked reset password and a pop-up popped up to actually send my previous email the password for this one. So now with that new password reset, I'm now gonna go log into the account. Once you do your initial login, you'll see um, a, a policy that you need to accept. Um, and then in most cases, it will ask you or the user that you created an account for um, to actually create a new password. Now, of course, I've gone ahead and changed the password. I accept um, the terms of service agreement. Now, let's go ahead over to Gmail. And there you go, I'm connected. So now to show you all that we didn't actually have to connect any MX records, mess with our DNS, or do anything of that sort, I'm gonna go ahead and um, actually send out an email so you can see. So we're gonna send it to team at outreachbin.com. Testing this out. Hey, this is our first email, right? And here you go. I'm gonna hit send, right? So let's look at the sent box. There it is, it's gone out. And let's head over to our outreach bin email um, to take a look. Now we are in our outreach bin uh, email account and you can see we sent to team at outreachbin.com from team at outreachcourse.com 
And here it is. Absolutely. Um, of course, it's saying, be careful with this message. It looks like it's a phishing email. <laughs> We're going to say it looks safe. But this really gives into a good segue. What happens with emails like this when they're brand new and you start sending out emails? It's never a good idea to just start ramping up sending out your uh, sends like 50, 60 or however many. Even a couple of emails that you send out will most likely end up in spam or end up with these warnings. So what's the best thing to do? The best thing to actually do is connect your email to Outreach Bin. In Outreach Bin, we actually warm up your email address by ramping it up slowly. Um, it's a peer to peer network that actually automates the whole warm up process for you. You actually have to do nothing, you just set it and forget it. We'll write the emails, we'll send them, we'll reply to them, we'll open them, and we'll move them from spam to inbox or from the others or promotions folder to inbox all automatically. So that's exactly what I'm going to go over in the next video. So you'll see the links down below. I hope this video was actually helpful. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us either on our support chat or in the comments. Thank you.